Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. Click the Fight TV link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support this show and watch pro wrestling, MMA, boxing, and so much more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 579, from the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA, for the final time as we move to the shiny new studios up the street, Sorgatron Media Central. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, ready to bring uh, uh, proceed with this mayhemness. We got, uh, as usual, the couch duo. I mean, it's oh, usually uh, guys on the couch, I mean, in these days, you know. I'm, yeah. Chad the Shad, the OG Mayhemmer. Hello. He was on the first... He was on the last from a residence. <laughs> yes, I was gonna say that was a different that was a different building we were in from this so, location. From this location, actually, you're probably on the first in this location too. I think I was. Yeah. For, so, so you you've come full circle with this. You're, you're like the champagne bottle that christens every yeah. new studio. Yeah. So we just Book, break bookends. you over we the door. Crack your head over the door. Uh, <laughs> I hear the new studio set up like Hollywood Squares, where we all have our own like. <laughs> that would be amazing. Setup. That's what I hear. Those yeah. are rumors. Yeah. Those are rumors. I That's can't rumors. wait. Like I hope I'm just square like off to the scores. right. Yeah. Who wants to be the Whoopi Goldberg? Uh, uh, dibs. Dibs. <laughs> dibs. Uh, also on the couch there is Mutilator Larry. Hello. Joining us as well with his work shirt. With my work <laughs> shirt. Like, I, I would just want just explain to people it's not blood, okay? Just, just oh, no, case. no. It's, I don't know it's how a it's, wood stain. Wood stains, okay. Because yeah. I don't know how this is going to come it's off on wood, the live feed. Wood stain, not dried blood. Tree blood. <laughs> Of a sort, of a yes. sort. Um, anyways, <laughs> sorry, I just saw some more messages. Also with us from Pooh Kipsy, New York, it is Mad Mike. Oh, I can't wait to be the center square. <laughs> I'm gonna be the center square. <laughs> the mouse cursor Mad is Mike picking his nose block, right now. Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, it is picking it. <laughs> the mouse. I got to move the mouse <laughs> off his face. The mouse cursor was picking <laughs> your nose. Yeah, it was like right up in your nose grill there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah, so, um, and also with us from Monroeville, PA, is the birthday boy, Riz. I'm <gasps> old now. You're old now? Wait, did Old-ish, you, yeah. Old-ish. Did you just pass the 3 0? I just passed 3 0. Whoa! Welcome to the club. Oh, Welcome. Welcome. So you're uh, older than you've ever been, and now you're even older, and now you're even older, motherfucker. <laughs> wow. Yep. Gratuitous language. So expect me to now, you know, uh, wither in age. Uh, <laughs> it was nice knowing you guys. Hey, hey uh, Riz, I don't know about the rest of these guys, but it's all been uphill for me from thirty. I mean, come on, look at this. Although I hear after th- square, just just make sure to keep the shirt on and never, <laughs> please. That, that's a lie. That is an absolute lie. I hear after thirty, you're not allowed Audio. to play video games anymore, though. Well, that's, oh, a, that's bullshit. A lie. bullshit. Bullshit. Yep, bullshit. That's all bullshit. I just downloaded <laughs> Destiny Two beta, sir. Okay, that's <laughs> fine, but it's considered <laughs> a midlife crisis. And also, Undertale is coming for PlayStation 4. So, that's two games right now that I'm going to play after 30. And Riz, let's be it's honest. It's like buying a Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. <laughs> Maybe. It may to, be be fair. Not playing, to be fair. If I'm not playing Destiny. Yeah. Not that I've had a chance to play them yet, but I did completely just pick up Lego Star Wars and Mario Kart Wii the other day. So, yeah. It's wow. Tough. I mean, How much was that? How much uh, was the Wii version? The, Wii, the Mario Kart Wii? Twenty yeah. bucks at a thrift store, buddy. Your cat's molesting. Twenty my bucks. Legs. Twenty bucks. It was a steal. I paid thirty six for like five games in a big. Chunk Wait, was... I can I can sell my copy of that for twenty bucks on me. <clears throat> oh, probably more. Yeah. Probably for more. Oh, um. Yeah. Anyways, I, actually, I, I could probably turn around on eBay and make a profit. But anyways, this is about wrestling. <laughs> last I knew, uh, the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Check it out. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. 
<laughs> By the way, check out Risk Plays Games. For check out Risk Plays, Plays Games, games of course. Yes. Uh, you can drop us a line at goodtimes at wrestlingmamshow.com. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Join us live at live.wrestlingmamshow.com, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, should be here next week. Internet is a question mark on a new building, but we'll be there in some fashion. Even oh. if we're just like hold up a phone and we're Facebook living, we'll be online next week. I can promise you that. Um, you, also, um, if you're if you're um, with us today and tomorrow, I don't know if I'll have this figured out. Something is wrong with WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Um, it's a GoDaddy thing. The site hasn't disappeared. It just it's pointing the wrong way, and I haven't been able to figure out what they did. Um, I didn't do anything. But so, so I did you talk, did you talk bad about Candace Michelle? No, you know what happened is what? he. Pr- they I probably. She, I hear she has a lot of pull with those GoDaddy people. Oh, they, right. They probably watched the show and saw that this is going to be the last show for Wrestling Mayhem show. So they pulled the plug. So early? they pulled the plug on mm. your website. Damn it, my my turn of phrase didn't work out then. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, you can also they say four one two two zero six WMS zero the hotline. Please call us you drunk. Just did, Sorg. There you go. At Mayhem Show on the Twitter, the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook, including the Facebook group where there's a lot of great conversation. And, of course, we're live video on there as well. Uh, please rate and subscribe on iTunes or wherever you're at. If there's any comments or ratings, please do that on whatever you listen or watch us on. And also, shout-outs to our friends of the show, our supporters at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show, including Bo Diggity! Woo! Ed Burke, the Matthew and Jennifer Cars Foundation for Podcast Betterment, Tragar and Alex Cars, and Bobby F. J. Town at the fan of the show uh, level, and the Pocky Club level, Tina Keys, Christopher Bishop, Thank you so much. You guys can uh, support us too at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. And uh, hey, t- in the new studio, we're going to generally have a pretty open door policy. Uh, but next week, I want to put a special invite out to you, Patreon supporters, um, to join us in the new studio, uh, hang out with us. Uh, we're, we're, we're going to, after that, have uh, well, we're going to have room, we're going to have chairs in the studio. It's going to be air conditioned. Woo! Actually, everybody's excited about that one. What I heard, uh, there's going to be a uh, like a like a, a, a nice little wall in between us. Uh, there, there's going to be a glass that we can see inside, but they can't see us. The, who can't see us? So, them, sort of. them, the studio they, audience. Them, the, the, the studio, the studio audience. audience. That's, That's the new mayhem interrogation room. Mm. And then, and then the fun starts. Sort of. Uh, what does that mean? What? Okay. The fun starts. The f- the fun starts. The fun starts. Uh, so uh, let's get into this show. Uh, first, like, there's a pay per view this weekend, guys. Wow! Hey! Uh, what? Battleground. Love is a battleground. Um, right? It's battlefield. Field? No. No. It's love battle. Is a battle. Battle. No. Battle. Love no, is a battleground. He's absolutely right. Oh, he is right. Okay. Battlefield. Well, I thought it was Love was a battlefield. No, I, it's a play on words, Riz. Okay, never mind. Continue. Riz, roll with us here. Uh, but yeah, we got Battleground including, and we saw it just to remind us how much of a mess it is to try to film, <laughs> is the Punjabi prison match. Riz, you have to be the most excited of any of us for this. <laughs> I, I watched both matches. And, and, and to be honest, the best part about it was JBL's commentary the entire match. When he just looks in, he, first he, he repeats himself over and over again that it has to be outside the cage or outside the prison, and then there's then there's like a table there just filled with weapons that you have to use, and it's like just like weapons that were never used in either one of those two matches. <laughs> and by the way, um, th- the majority of the match happens in the ring. Uh, very rarely do they go outside and beat each other up. Uh, they usually do that. Uh, I believe Batista did the nice little uh, cat jump to the other side of the uh, cage during his match against the Great Khali, uh, which was just a train wreck to begin with. Um, and it ju- and it just makes it. It's going to be interesting to see how they modernize it. To not suck. So, so I mean, the, it, <clears throat> it it always felt like a match that never lived up to its potential. Well, first, well, well the first match featured two guys that weren't supposed to be in it. Mm-hmm. Well, wait, no, Big Show was supposed to be in, it, was he? 
Yeah. Uh, I think it, I thought it was Big it Show was, and Kali. Yeah, it was Big Show and Kali, and Kali got poops and couldn't compete. <laughs> Uh, so I don't think that's it was a liver enzyme thing. I don't know if it's poop. No, it was steroids. It, it was steroids. steroids. It was steroids. Okay. It was steroids. Okay. Uh, it was steroids. Yeah. They called it liver enzyme. He enzymes, did show up but, at the yeah, end. That though. match. That match was uh, actually that match wasn't that bad. Uh, the second match, however, was bad. just very interesting to see Kali try to climb or go underneath things because he can't <laughs> move his kneecaps. <laughs> Um, so that, yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see that. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting for sure. I, I'm excited to see if Randy Orton puts a headlock on someone through bamboo, <clears throat> through one of the bamboo holes. I'm very excited to see if Randy oh. Orton can put a headlock on Ginger through his one middle, of the holes. His middle rub DDT is going to be really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's going to be scary. <laughs> What if the door closes? Now remember the spikes. <laughs> oh, now remember the there. There are spikes on top. Razor sharp spikes, boom. according to Michael Razor, Cole. Razor, Razor sharp. Was and then because I went back and watched it too, and JBL compares them to the barbed wire on the steel cage <laughs> that he, which by the way, that he wrestled and got sliced up by by the Big Show, which is why mm. the Big Show is so dangerous in that match. It was a, a commentary, <laughs> even mess. though again. They mentioned the spikes never was used. <laughs> no. Nope. Well, how do you nope. use a spike, Riz? Batista got stabbed by one and then just punched him out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Like, he, he, that was it. I was like, uh, man, I'm done. It's wood. It's a guy splinter, maybe. But it was nothing interesting. Like, like maybe have Randy Orton come out, make a switch out of it, and just beat somebody with it. I don't know. I did, make it interesting. I did like that. During one of the matches, they said, "This is steel reinforced bamboo." Yeah, and I went, was... did they really? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "What the hell yeah. is going on?" Because I went back and watched both of them because I had forgotten what they were like. But by the way, what, ex- <laughs> what an experience! Steel. By the way, you guys, yeah. that's steel um, reinforced bamboo. Steel mm. reinforced bamboo is my new calypso band. You guys should come <laughs> see us. We're down. We're playing down in the city. Uh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say about that. Well, that, I mean, that's what we got to look forward to, I guess. Um, And, and, and the stipulations keep rolling. We got a flag match. Yeah. Yep. Which, uh, we... Again... I was, watching the, I was watching the promo with John Cena with Katie earlier, and uh, we were both laughing at it. What is it? These colors it don't America run. Sword. They kick ass. America. It's America, Sorg. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Fa- Did you feel the America? Yeah. Sword? I felt the America and I let the bad America taste in my mouth. And then right after the, that, when he the broke bad his thing back. happened to America, you know what happened? America happens. Was it, was it you calling out, Larry, that, that, that he's calling out the wrong thing? The wrong, <laughs> like, 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 war or something? What's it? Cena. Oh, yeah. He was talking about uh, waving the flag after they stormed the beach of Normandy when they. Like the fam- yeah. the fa- the famous um, flag uh, raising was on Iwo Jima. Yeah, yeah. Like it wasn't even the right side of the world. <laughs> <laughs> no, totally different. And figure. is anyone gonna point out that Bulgaria and the U.S. have two yes. of the same colors in their flag? Exactly. Yeah. And, and most and do. Like, do, yeah, we have, yeah, do we have any that. beef with Bar- Bulgaria? By the way, no, none. I, no, I think Russia. actually right. we're All defending right. them against Ru- against Russia. <clears throat> well, there you go. Um, <laughs> But but hey but hey Maybe. not America versus America 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 and to anybody America. who's color bl- colorblind like good luck yeah <laughs> <laughs> I mean I mean green and blue probably look the same to them I hope you can recognize patterns because yeah that's it <laughs> you're tough you're out you're out of luck we didn't all, think we all didn't you think... need to know is John Cena and Rusev imagine if John okay. Cena was colorblind and he thought he was wearing the same color shirt out every single time and he never understood the Rock Street <clears throat> Devil joke. <laughs> he'd have to be really colorblind. Yeah. Like he'd have to be like dog colorblind. Well, no, I mean, no, no like he's in only grays. <laughs> <laughs> Monochrome grays. That seems right. <laughs> These um, colors don't run. 
his entire life is like watching this gray this gray does not run segue apparently the rock registered to to become to uh filed to to run for president is that real okay hold on hold on sword sword can we talk about this sure for a moment but we have to get back to battlefield i mean battleground yeah uh, yeah i know rock rock hi mad mike here we're buds i i don't do this he worked in wwe once yeah, I, I, we're we're essentially co-workers. We're, we're essentially had the same locker next to each other. Don't fucking do this. Come on, just just play Black Adam and convince John Cena to be Shazam. That's all we need you to do, buddy. We don't need you to make another Jumanji. Lord knows we don't need a Baywatch too. Do not actually even think... Jumanji. That it looks really good. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It looks fun. No, it, it does. Looks, it looks no. fun. No. It's fun. They're going it into looks a video game. Terrible. So you and I will go see Jumanji. Riz, you, you and me, we're Jumanji buddies. <clears throat> it's basically an Uncharted video game because no one wanted to make Uncharted. But anyway, Rock, do not do this. We 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 don't. This is not the right way to go. I don't want people I've booed at WrestleMania running for president. Like that is a we blanket already have that statement. As a president. Shut up! I don't want any more. <laughs> that is a blanket statement. Rock. I don't want anyone I've seen and booed in person at a show where I've worn a wrestling T-shirt to be in politics at all. Like no, just 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 no. Now Sorg's this trying to think of stuff. qualified people to uh, that have been on a wrestling show. That I'm could just run thinking about like locally how jump, jumping Johnny DeFazio is like a city controller and uh, in in all these things. You know, I mean, this is like more. Go get him, Rock. Readily, yes. Go get him, Mike. Go get him, Rock. Mike. I mean, the, the, the yeah. guy, the guy has succeeded exponentially I mean, at everything he's touched. Mike, would you have really? a problem with really? Dario Cueto running for president? Dario Cueto is the only one I would support. <laughs> you know what you're getting. Yes, right? and he would, and he would have much better scriptwriters. <laughs> Anyways, so ba- battlegrounds. Back to battleground. Um, jeez, uh, tag cha- uh, tag teams. Uh, uh, Usos a new day. Hope there's more twerking like tonight. I guess um, it's been fun. It's been it's been fine. No, nothing beats the rap battle that we had. No, no, no. no. That was pretty great. Except for the, except for the fashion know, police files. They didn't have to repeat everything in the ba- in the rap battle. Yusuf literally repeated every single line in the rap battle. Yeah, I think it's a style. Um, mm. sty- styles and Owens, uh, United States title. That will be good. They're, it's nice to see what we hinting, missed. It. They're hinting so bad. At Shinsuke versus Styles at mm. SummerSlam. Oh, yes. That's going to be amazing. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, Nakamura. I, Go ahead. I think that's going to be a Mania match. Yeah. Mm. I'm, with, I'm with Michael. I, I think they're going to hold that off till Mania. It. They're going to they're gonna... Yeah. Yeah, oh. somehow, I, I think the Rumble will be involved. <laughs> no, because I, I think um, after, win the Rumble. after this Punjabi prison, Jinder's going to need someone to fight. Mm-hmm. I think that's I think that's not Kamara. You think he's going away with the title? Yeah. Yeah. It's his you match. Think? Yeah. It's his match. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, J- Orton is not getting that belt. No, he's not. Nope. He's not no. no. He's not that belt. It makes no, sense for Ginger, Gin, Ginger, Ginger to Ginger. win it. Yeah. But based uh, on the creative for the past month and a half. Uh, Tina is pointing out something that goes along with Mike's uh, uh, statement about booing people at WrestleMania. That uh, Kid Rock was a, a oh. performer at WrestleMania no. 25. Yeah, and he was also a performer at... Um, My oh, no, York. he wasn't a performer. He just provided American Badass. He wasn't a performer. Yeah, so, yeah he's been, um, he's been he played it live. It's, Actually, man, Mike, I want, I want to backtrack here. Oh, no. uh, what about Rhino? No, no, I don't want anyone I've booed while wearing a wrestling t-shirt to run for any kind of political office. I've Jesse never Ventura. booed Rhino. No, no, not really. No, nope. Not really. Never. I miss the ECW days, so. Yeah. The one exception I might make is Kane. This is true. That That's the only exception he unveiled. I might Did you make. see? And, he and un- I still wouldn't even vote for him. I would just say, okay, he's fine because I know he has a brain. 
He 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 unveiled his um, campaign vehicle today. Yeah. Or yesterday he or this weekend or something. For it. Oh What's that? He wanted you to nickname it. He wanted you to nickname it? Yeah, he and did. if you won, you got like a t shirt and a bumper sticker. Nice. What's his campaign vehicle? Hold it's like on. a smart car. Yeah, it's like a smart no, car. No, it's not. I don't know how he fits in Hold it. Hold on. Yeah, no, I don't think he drives it. <laughs> Does he use it as a roller skate? Um I think he just pushes it and then he just walks behind it. I'll pull it up here in a second. Let's see if I can get this going. Oh, no, no. By the way, that's not going to work at all. Leaving it up. Oh, to let me see. There it is. There watch. it is for you guys on video. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. like it's like oh. one of the, it's one of those little smart cars. It is. Yep. Oh, hey, no. those things are a lot roomier than they look. I understand. Yeah, but, but still, <laughs> but still, everybody that's that that first of all liking his page is probably not from that area. Right. It doesn't yep. matter. They are going to troll that page so hard to get get like the big red machine as the uh, as the smart as the uh, car name. Mm-hmm. Or oh, that's that's a perfect name for it. Though. Look at it him. is. <laughs> look at look at old Glenn it there is. hanging out. That's the thing. The more publicity and the higher likes and page views he gets, yes, that's going to influence people. everybody else. Who's like, wow, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Fresh, I mean, fresh we know outlook. how. Fresh outlook on unlimited government. We know how people, people can low. follow other people. Renewed focus on quality of education. Continue to attract new jobs in the area. Go Tennessee. You go Knoxville. And also Im- improved dental. <laughs> ah. Ah. The dental don't don't promise the impossible. The Only dental plan is, is going to be great. I, I saw I saw like someone took a stock picture of him like leaning over a railing talking to some constituents and it's just a quote can i talk to you about hellfire and brimstone <laughs> <laughs> and and the best part about that picture though that the picture that you just showed mm-hmm. uh it looks like kane just beat up the mean street posse <laughs> stole their clothes <laughs> and just stripped them both stripped them naked That's uh, That's uh dave podner is saying Mits- mitsubishi all electric he believes it is so Oh, fancy. There you go. So they're going to call it Shane McMahon. No combustion. No combustion. He's not allowed to have any combustion. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> he has PTSD from that. No. Well, no. Hey, well, other reasons. <clears throat> Ain't no party yeah, like no, a Katie there, Vick party. Oh. <laughs> Riz, Riz, I saw what you did there. I, I appreciate it. Uh, Nobody I else appreciate it. Though. I, I saw it. it. It took a hot second. The all-electric I mean, car, it's Shane all McMahon. It's testicles. So it's <laughs> So car really, battery, Kane, the car battery. Come on. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So Kane's not allowed to have electric cars. He's not allowed to have combustion engine. He's basically going to be Flintstoning this shit, right? That car is basically <laughs> the equivalent of a child in one of those little red and yellow toy cars that you push with your feet. <laughs> uh, are you talking about the little Tykes Cozy Coupe? That. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> Who works at a toy store? This guy. I'm in the business. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Um, uh, also, of course, Nakamura and uh, Baron Corbin. In a hair versus hair match. Hair versus hair match. <laughs> Who's losing it? Cor- Corbin's due for a hair versus hair match sooner or later, right? Yep. Um, it's coming. And, of course, the five-way women's match. Um, for the number one contender. For number stop. one contender. No no title match No title yet, match. But By the way, no, it's we, elimination. We ain't going to get it. This is the... I don't like the trend that SmackDown pay-per-views have with not putting women's style matches on the pay-per-view. No, no. I don't like that trend. They weren't putting tag team matches on the pay-per-view for the longest time no. either. That's because no. yeah. I'm not sure if you've looked. There are no tag teams left. There's more there tag really. teams on SmackDown more. than there are, are on Raw. And That's not saying a whole they, lot. No. They, already t- they already broke one of, one of them up on SmackDown. Yep, we got... Uh, we got we got the Ascension, uh, Brizango, uh, Usos, and New Day. The right. Hypro split. Uh, I guess we technically do have Hypros, <laughs> but, but like we said, we're nobody cares about Hypros. Probably heading out here soon. They weren't well, on the still, show this that's, week. That's five. Yeah. Great name yeah. though. Great name those Hypros. Oh yes. You got oh, like yes. what? Phenomenal th- name. Four maybe maybe four on Raw. The revival, of the hard. Yeah, there, there's four. four. There's, there's at least four. Yeah. How many really count? The revival, <laughs> the Hardys, and the bar. Yeah, that's pretty mm-hmm. much it. Well, no, mm-hmm. the club counts. Yeah, yeah. no, they count. they've no. they've been shaping back into prominence. 
They, they, had, they had some off time. Yep. Everybody's got to cycle back. They're, they're sneaking back into the, into oh, yeah. the picture. Oh, yeah. Um, and finally, match of the night in the pre-show will be Ty Dillinger and Aiden English. Wait, hold on. They didn't announce Sammy versus Mike Kanellis? I don't see it on the site. That doesn't mean they didn't announce it because it's actually really weird the way the site's set up. But presumably huh. we're going to see Zayn and Kanellis, right? Yeah, his in-ring debut, unless he wrestled tonight. He, no, no, he, he did, did. He did wrestle tonight, yeah. actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. So how is right. that for so they, you? So they based it. Somebody who's <laughs> watched, watched Mike Bennett go from Ring of Honor to TNA to this. Well, that says it right there. Look at his face. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, I, Picture I says like, a thousand words. I like Mike Bennett. I like mm-hmm. Mike Bennett. I think what he's been doing so far has been very fun. Mm-hmm. Um, his in ring is kind of generic, but um, uh, you know, it's not too bad. Oh, apparently they did Sammy versus Mike Canell tonight. Didn't you guys watch SmackDown while I was at work? Yeah, more or less. We told you that they did that tonight. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, why Why did they do it tonight? Why not the pay-per-view? Because he hit him over the head with a vase last week. Yeah, that's why you build to a pay-per-view. <clears throat> uh, okay. Okay. What are you going to do this week? <laughs> you have a promo and have Sammy run them out. Hmm. Mm. Too much TV time. Yep. Yeah, we know that time for the for setting out the Punjabi prison on, on Sunday the, night. You think it's a three hour raw? Get out of here! Time for that. They do have an extra must, hour now that they got rid of Talking Smack. I, I, was, I was gonna, gonna say, say I must be thinking hour. they have some sort of forty man program to plug their characters and actually promote their vehicle. <laughs> what am I thinking? Not Who anymore. would do that? Oh, well, let's get into that in a moment. But first, I want to give a shout out to our friends at Slice on Broadway up uh, up up the road, or even more up the road when we move here in a week on uh, Broadway here in Beachview, uh, su- supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Also located in Carnegie, PA, down on Main Street in PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Thank you so much to those guys supporting the show. What? What's oh, going on? What? Hit, what? Hitting all cylinders. What's there, up? Sword. Hey, I, I'm hyped. Ooh. This is my last time in the studio. I'm not gonna fuck it up. Damn, that was smooth. Yes. So, Professional. Smooth. We're going to be... La- next week, we're going to be on a bigger Hollywood platform. Squares. No, we... Yep. We're going to be gonna, on big platforms. We're going to be doing this... <laughs> what? We're going to be on big <laughs> platforms. <laughs> Hollywood <laughs> Square <laughs> platforms. It's going to look... We have, the, we have a Brady Bunch intro. from next week is going to oh. look like that old intro of Raw where they're all fighting on the roof and everything's exploding yeah. around. I, I just yeah. don't... I don't want to be on the top fl- platform, though, because I have a fear of heights. Okay, I'll take a top... I'll take a top right. spot so I can look down well, on I'm all sure. of you. So oh, I, I didn't think about that. <laughs> no, I don't want if you I go to spitting your head. Platform, I'll be just as big as you guys, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> there Riz, are you. Riz, you're the center square. Hey, yes. hey, no, yes. no, I <laughs> called dibs. No, no. I called Too late. dibs. All right, tic-tac-toe for it. French Stewart. You can be French we're Stewart. We're going on a tangent. Sorry. Oh, no, I'm just letting <laughs> you guys go. I'm, I'm Don't just, you fucking we're just, dare we're call me French Stewart. <laughs> I'll be whoopee, you be French. That's all. Oh, so, fuck no. you, I'm Joan Rivers, bitch. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eat it. Sorg, you started all this by putting a yes. Hollywood Squares platform. Yeah, way to go, Sorg. Why'd you put Hollywood Squares What were you here? thinking? It was, yes, it was, you knew uh, that was going to be combative. Market research. It's all your fault. It, it was actually my idea. At least, at least put the uh, supermarket sweep in there instead. No. I mean, you could have done that. I don't know. Bobby says Mike can be Poland. I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. Poland? Yeah. All right. I'm okay with that. No, not Poland. <laughs> not not the country of Poland. Not Paul <laughs> no, Lynn. No, I, oh, I okay. cannot Paul be London. Poland. You can be Paul London. Paul London. Paul London. There you go. There you go. I, I am also Joan okay London. with that. You, also you think, can be but Joan but London. But Matt's he, in the car while he's typing to us. As he does. As he does. Hey, I watched Raw in the car <clears throat> on the way to the airport the, uh, a couple weeks ago. So, I mean, that's just what you do. Right? That's true. No? Oh, great. Right. Chris, right. Chris is saying I should be Jim J. Bullock, which I'm totally okay with, too. We're really hey, basically. Like, have we all, all noticed that Talking Stewart. Smack is not canceled for pay per views? Have really? we made that statement? Is yeah, it? No, it's I didn't not. notice that. Yeah, it's not. It is on for pay per views, but canceled on a regular basis. That's good. So, so it's really like where Raw Talk is right now. 
Raw dogging, yeah. You're right. <laughs> what? Raw dogging. Yep. Raw dogging. Exactly. Just but, like Raw dogging. Here's the thing. Talking Smack was a good show. Mm-hmm. Raw Talk was not. Raw dogging. Well, no, it got it got significantly better when the little bald guy was on there. <laughs> no, no, oh, I yeah, don't no, know no, who no, that no. dude is. The like I've seen guy. him. The one from the one the, from the one from the thing where he gets yelled at by JBL. <laughs> yeah, who is he? Is that his name? What is the name of that show? Right. I watch bring it bring every it month. It JBL table. yells bring it to the table. Yeah, the show the is bring it to the table. The man's name is. You can't Google it. That Paul doesn't Rosenberg? count. Sure. Yeah. Let's call Rosenberg. him Paul. Yeah. Paul, Paul, Paul Rosenberg. We'll call him Paul. Paul. Paul Rosenberg. Rosenstein. I don't think Paul. it's Paul. Stein? It's not Paul. Paul. I don't know. Chris. Chris. Peter Rosenberg. Peter. Peter. Close. Okay. Close. Right. Peter. I was close. Peter. The, po- close. the point I, is, I don't is even heard of he him. was better than but... King and he was better than <clears throat> uh, Booker T. He just gels well with Renee. Because he's a professional. Those are the, low- those are the lowest <laughs> yeah. possible bars you can set. True. I didn't say it was better than SmackDown or Talking Smack. I just said it was hey, better hey, than what it was. Just like podcasts, it's just, you know, if it's better than that low bar, it's great. It's like a step above dog shit, all right? <laughs> also like podcasts. So um, so it's literally like the step you hover over dog shit. Yeah, it's you're like, about to step in it. But it's somewhere between it's somewhere between dog shit and the stuff you mix as fertilizer for your vegetables. Are we still talking about <laughs> raw dogging? Raw dogging. Yes. <laughs> yes yeah. 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 It's going to be a okay, awesome so- title. Okay, so that gives me another reason to look forward to the pay per views. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. It. No, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that should not be the model. No, 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 no. I'm not <laughs> saying not the that's model. the reason I'm tuning in I, on a Sunday night you're and just, staying up. You're just happy that it's not completely. I gone. am. At least there's something you can still go. It's good background uh, noise after a pay per view. It gives me one less thing to have to try to watch after I do this show now. So. Mm-hmm. And by the way, if they go to three hours SmackDown, I don't. We're They're just, going three hours SmackDown. We're moving this show back Order. to nine o'clock, and we do not care about SmackDown anymore. Yeah. Don't they already basically have three hours with two or five live? Yeah, but it's not theirs. If it, if this, that's that's the argument we have. Yeah, like, yeah. why does Raw need another a fourth hour of wrestling technically? But they tape it after SmackDown. Well, right. if they're going right. to do that, two or five live should be its own thing, like the UK show, like yeah. completely its own yeah, thing. Absolutely. That's what that's what it should have been from the beginning. Like, just yeah. film it at full sale, let those guys go all out, and just have it be like NXT. Tina's filling us in, and, and I knew some of this, too. Uh, oh, yeah. No, I knew that, too. Uh, no, no, mean, no. Well, okay, I, let's ed- ed- let's educate the audience, too, just so they know. No, let's who we're not. Like, no, I don't, I don't want to promote him. What, why? I, I like him. him. I, I, he's in the right spot on what they're no, doing. No, no, yeah. the couch needs some info. Whoa, whoa. What's all right, going on? All right, the couch wants to know. The couch wants to know. Peter Peter is a... Um, blah, 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 blah. He has uh, a podcast, and he's a DJ at Hot 97. Who? There you go. The, uh, Peter Rosenberg, the guy we were talking the about. The bald guy. The bald guy. The bald guy. The bald guy from that show you He forget. has other jobs. He has other jobs. That makes sense. Just like um, uh, Sam Roberts has his own radio I show podcast. Sam Roberts the guy with the that. hair. Oh, that guy. <laughs> the, old <laughs> hair. the old carrot top? Yeah. 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 Actually, yeah. That's right. Yeah, out of the kickoff show. Okay. After, after yeah. Sword narrowed right. that down precisely. No, but I, I'm sorry. Anyone who has their own podcast about wrestling should not be on a WWE product. Hey, whoa, hey. whoa, whoa, hey. whoa, 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 it's you, us. Okay, I'm gonna but say, there, but, but see, why you, not bring professionals in something like that? Mike, like you they're pissed off the dog. That's right. JR has his own podcast. The guy wears a fucking shirt on the show. He wears a what? X Pac has his own podcast. Unlicensed so WWE cool. merch on the show. Fuck off. <coughs> whoa, whoa, wait. You're, you're not get- mad. Wait, wait. You're mad because he's not towing the company t shirt line? Yes. Wow. I you are a company a man, aren't you? That is, that is I a good am. point. No, 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 that is a good Mike. point. That oh, a it's point. a fucking great there, point. There are, Who is that? There are, oh, speak of the devil. Wait, wait, wait. wait. We got we got to be the devil. No, no, you sit down over it's here. I don't know. Like his ears right. were burning. <laughs> no, no, no. Go go over there. Go over there. Here. Go over there. Yeah, uh, uh, Larry, Larry, t- just take Please. take the mic off. Please just take the mic off the thing. Hand mic it. Hand mic it. Somebody share some headphones with him. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Got to, uh, uh, my, uh, we got our friend in the mainstream like a, media here. Did somebody me, say look, mainstream? Like yes, a, right. Like a <laughs> talk turn your media. mic on. Let me turn your mic on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like swap a, it up uh, a little bit. Man on a street there interview. There you go. Man here. on a street interview with with Matt Carlins. A rose between two thorns. Who ran in off of the street Spear. to the show. So we're having an argument. <laughs> what else do we do on the show? <laughs> oh, it's a good one, though. So, so what would you do if I went on this show... Wearing a shirt promoting a different podcast. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Depends on the that podcast. Does it have? If it has fewer viewers weekly than this podcast, then you're being a hipster and it's okay. <laughs> but if you're on here with like a Triple W T-shirt, then I'm like, shit, get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, exactly my point. Exactly my point, Matt. Mike, I, I agreed with you all the way up until the <laughs> podcast part because I believe we've had other on. podcasts. We, on people the in the chat room are asking me if, like, Stone Cold, Renee Young, Chris Jericho, all if all <laughs> of them count. No, they don't count because they're employed by the fucking company. Okay. <laughs> uh, or, or, they don't count because they're employed by the company. That's completely are, different. Are, he is employed by the company. He's on No, the- he's not. He's getting paid no, he's to be not. on the show. He gets paid he by gets the company. Paid. Is he getting checks he from Vince? He gets paid scale. He's not Vince an employee. He's getting, he's getting checks for, for doing that show. Vince. You don't do that stuff for free, man. No, you don't do that for free. That's a joke. He's a hired gun, man. They want to got life it up. They have how many hours the WWE Network they got to fill? Not they good. Only, he's, he's, he's not good. I think he's great. <laughs> he's better. He's Mike, hey, better than Mike. You know what? Mike is mad because he's a wait, 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 Corey Graves. Okay. I'm telling Renee Young you, you, that she wasn't your first Ronaldo. answer. I'm, call, I'm texting Ronaldo. her right now. Morrow. That's fine. Okay. Morrow. Morrow Ronaldo. Okay. I would, e- I would even say David Otunga. Stop it. Whoa, 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 He's no, making a movie. Disqualified. 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 No, no, no. Non-commentary. Non-commentary. Yeah, I, need, I need to put your mic on first. Oh, mute him. Not on commentary, but on those pre-shows. He's uh, going to the free shows. Okay. No. Mike, do you really not like I him? Think because he's, I think Booker T is awesome. Th- I think I know why Mike doesn't like this Peter Paul Piper guy. <laughs> it's because it's also because it starts with a P. He's a part time guy. We don't like those no, part timers. Oh. Hates those part timers. <laughs> he's a fucking Mark. What is this show? What? He's a oh. part timer. What are we doing yes. here? Well, we are not paid oh. by the company. No, a, but we're even bigger marks. We, we're doing this for free. Honestly, if, <laughs> yes, I know, but but we're we're fans. We're not paid. If we were on there. We would not mark out like idiots. This is a good point. He has a show on WWE Network. He has bring it to the table. He does. He's still not an employee. He's, <coughs> he's getting paid. I'm, so listen, bad, man, I'm not looking at his W nine, but I, you know, technically everybody is a a uh, 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 contractor. Uh, so, so independent, yeah, independent contractor. contractor. Yep. So, yeah. so I don't think he's any different from that. I mean, everybody Jericho's got his own po- podcast. Uh, uh, Edge and Christian have their own podcast. So, you know, Peter has his own podcast. I think it, I think it's par for the course here. Uh, really, these days. really, JR, are any I mean... of us really working? Like, really, any of us right <laughs> no, now? We're just no. we're just yelling at a at, mean, at a camera right now. Yeah, I think the company line of WWE is that all these wrestlers and everyone are just doing it for fun because they they would do it for nothing because they love wrestling so much. None of these people are in business for themselves. If they were, then maybe they you know. Okay, I'm gonna get off on another rant, but anyway. That's These people tangent. got to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's this do guy, business. This guy ain't traveling to these cities like, you know what? Pro bono work for WWE. <laughs> yeah. I just love the business. I'm just happy to be yeah. here. Doing it for the kids. Getting my exposure. <laughs> paying <laughs> my dues. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. Get, bringing on my t-shirts. Working for that future <laughs> endeavor. <laughs> letter, oh, everybody. yeah. So I can tell everybody about it on a po- on my podcast for years to come. Everybody, oh. everybody, is everybody okay? Shots fired. To be, no, to be, to to be fair. No, 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 no. He's still a fucking horrible person. Can, can we... <laughs> But honestly, if I if one of us was on WWE TV, I would I would wear WWE merch or a suit. Just me. I'll, like get, a I'll get you a shirt. Uh, yeah, a suit jacket. Or a suit, a suit jacket. Maybe. Yeah, suit. So I'd wear a suit. 
Uh, I heard you like a goddamn professional. Not everybody can have fancy hats like Renee Young. Okay, guys. Uh, speaking of which, hey, I don't know if you've seen it on the video, but I got this nice stomp. There it is. There, 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 there we go. There, there you go. it is. Out Stomp out cancer. cancer. What's that? Mark out for cancer? <laughs> yeah. Stomp out cancer event. Stomp out cancer pgh.com for more information. And of course, you can pre order the DVD and digital do- download over on indie wrestling.us. It was great to hang with those guys. Uh, this, the finest collection of uh, uh, indie talent in the Pittsburgh area down there in Lamont Furnace, PA. Uh, so it was it was a great show. They raised, I think I saw them. They present check for about twenty eight hundred dollars uh, from the event. Uh, big big Very success. Good. And uh, we're gonna try to raise a little bit more for them when we get the video together here soon. So uh, a portion of the proceeds will go to the American Cancer Society uh, by way of Stomp Out Cancer. Uh, so please, uh, if you guys want to check out the show, uh, we had Lee Moriarty and Sean Phoenix on the couch over there last week. Yeah, that couch right there, guys. Uh, and uh, they had a fantastic show stealing match. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, they, they, yeah, they did the pillow, pillow thing because they're saving it for the show Saturday night. They had a pillow wall going on. I think Lee was like hugging the pillow by the end of the night. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but, but, you know, they, they, they had a show stealing match there. Um, really great stuff. Uh, nice showcase of a lot of the town here in the area. Uh, so please go check it out at indywrestling.us. Get the pre order or uh, stomp out cancerpgh.com. And thank you so much. Um, for having us uh, for one thing and, and, and it was great to work with everybody that night uh, we'll be back after this message with the big question presented by birthday boy Riz sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com wrestling mayhem show we are back of course Chad the Shad mainstream Matt Carlins Mad Mike Bobby FG Town has joined us the Riz is on the line too what? Hey? Oh? What? Uh, and of course, Larry in the studio as well. Uh, I think your mic's on. I'm just Hello. Hello. There it is. Hello. There it is. Hello. So uh, it is time for the big question. And for that, we are going to go, as soon as I correct the video here, to Birthday Boy, the Riz. <clears throat> yes. And I actually uh, was thinking about this the entire day. And. Uh, my question, actually, is this has been a, a, a year of me thinking about this question, and that question is, do you guys like me? <laughs> Give or take. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a hard question. No, of course I mean, I mean, I do. We have 30 Ooh. minutes left in my oh, birthday, guys. Come on. Uh, yeah. But anyway, seriously, <laughs> uh, since this is the Riz. last... Riz, you're old now. It doesn't matter if anybody likes you or not. You just do whatever the F you want now. Yeah. You're an old man like the rest of us, or some of us. Yeah, you can go knees up on whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Riz, you be a Richard III anytime you damn well choose. And if someone gets into an argy bargy <laughs> video, you just tell them, you just tell them to bring it to the Aunt Mabel. You just call me a piece of shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He said you could be a piece of shit any day. <laughs> day That's right. Because hey! you're old. You don't have to worry about it anymore. No apologies anymore, Riz. Well, well, anyways, anyways, that anyways um, <laughs> so we, 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 just, uh, just, just, just for the people who just listen to the podcast, there was some interesting conversation and education while we were having some technical downtime. About British terms. We uh, learned Cockney. <laughs> yes, we learned Cockney. I hope and by the way, and we are all so going- sorry. We are sorry. all going to be fluent in Cockney sorry. by the time we move to the new studio next week, and that is how the show will sound. Speak for yourself, mate. I already am. Any, anyways, um, <laughs> my actual big question is, uh, since this is the last show of the Wrestling Mayhem show in the new studio, I mean, in the old studio, <laughs> um, what memory do you guys have of being in that studio in this studio here in this studio other here. than this moment right now instead of this moment right now sir then uh, not 10 minutes ago when we were trying to figure out what rg bargy means <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> all right back to 10 minutes ago <laughs> i want to leave the you guys because i've forgotten most of what's happened in this studio Come on. <laughs> so <laughs> they weren't all Christmas episodes. They weren't all Christmas episodes. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Larry, Larry, you're you're the newest to this studio. Oh, 
You're the newest that we've brought in here. <laughs> and he needs what? more time. Did you? Uh, was there a question? Yeah, yeah. What the, the Riz's question? Oh, Riz's question. Yeah. Yes. No, I don't like him. What? <laughs> no, no, not that one. We're past that question. I don't know we have stalling for time. Fine. It's fine. I'm going to cry myself to sleep tonight. But what memory do you have of being in the old stu- in this old studio, like the Sword Charm Media? Um, what's your favorite episode of Two Hundred Five Live you've ever watched while sitting on? That exactly. Couch? <laughs> I remember watching Two Hundred Five Live while sitting on that couch. Okay. Perfect. What's Perfect. the most interesting person that you met down here? Riz. Interesting. Riz. 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 <laughs> yes. Probably Riz. Yeah, he's Probably definitely yeah. the most Riz. interesting it, it person. It's still my birthday, so that's here. fine. Yeah, okay. Yes. All right. Okay, we'll come back to you. Um, <laughs> how about you, Chad? <laughs> cool. Like I said, you're the OG here. Oh, yeah. You were on yeah, number yeah. one. You've seen all the studios. Yeah. Yeah, I have a, a plethora of memories to dive into. So, what is my favorite knees up experience? <laughs> what was the most yeah. knees up what experience you ever had? Peak here? knees up. <laughs> I'm, I'm um, pretty sure we've all had a couple of knees up experiences. That's uh, there's, I, I don't, there's a couple. So I'll just rattle like it's like almost like name association. There was a uh, crush that can. <laughs> <laughs> where remedy crushed crushed Remember monster that. cans mm-hmm. th- three of them on his forehead in the old studio and like cut himself open i remember that <laughs> i did um, i think i was upstairs wasn't it that was great yeah, that was definitely the hard uh, way the pirate ship championship mm-hmm. was great um the very first sexual harassment interview in sorg's living room where I had like a shirt and tie on because I was somewhere important earlier. So it looked like I dressed up for the interview. <laughs> um, this wasn't part of the show, but it was uh, breaking the master lock out on Sorg's back porch. Nobody breaks the master lock. Um, the traveling show <laughs> to Madison Square Garden, mm-hmm. uh, which resulted in the after show in Mad Mike's apartment and me going to the bar and then coming back during the show and absolutely being belligerent and then mm-hmm. leaving again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then and then I just shot. crashed the I crashed the show. Chew Cheetos or something loudly on the mic and then left. <laughs> uh it's a great, great show. And you remember this. And uh it, it I listened to episode. it. <laughs> it was a weird episode. <laughs> and uh well I mean those aren't in this studio, but I mean those are stuff that you remember because mm-hmm. of the studio, so they're on these up, okay. <laughs> but that, those are those are ones that, that stick out. Those okay. ones, they can, you can't just I can't just name one. No, yeah, no. you can't really. It was a it was an evolving. I'm, I'm actually going through the list myself, going. That was, that was interesting. So was it's fun. real quick, that like awesome. Yeah, the ones off the top of my head. Those are the ones that stick out. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right. What about you, Carlins? Uh, well, definitely doing like the Mayhem Mania, especially bringing it here into the studio. That was definitely an upgrade mm-hmm. and using the tops of pizza boxes to mm-hmm. keep track of. Man, matches. at the new those, studio, those we're, we're going to have a giant LED board just like what they oh, use for the. Uh, uh, Matt. No. <laughs> it's going to be, be just like the Weatherman's. Oh. Ad. Actually, I'm th- I think I'm putting a green screen in there. So Matt, I, I'm I painting a, a wall. Question. What? Matt, I have a quick question. Um, When we bring back Mayhem Mania. Is Talking Mayhem Mania going to return now that Talking Smack is uh, it, its predecessor is <laughs> off the air? Yeah, we're gonna and we have a new we're gonna have a new venue for it. Sword, we're gonna have Talking Mayhem Mania at that empty taco stand across the street from your studio <laughs> every week. <laughs> is, Me uh, and um, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Garza, pa- Paul Pablo, Ro- Paul, what's his Paul name? Rosenstein. Paul Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Yeah, Rosenberg. no, just no. <laughs> Forget it. Um, Pablo Rosenberg. At the Pablo, Pablo Rosenberg. Yes. Uh, uh, the number <laughs> one. Argy Bargy, please. El Ijo del Taco. Paul Rosenberg. <laughs> Bring it to the taco cart. <laughs> I pulled up a video. I pulled up a video. Hold on. Extra Argy Bargy. Wait, 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 wait. I got a video here for you guys. You guys, here's this is um let's see, this is 2015. A look at that big board behind you in your in yeah. your basement. Big time big board. <laughs> Yeah, that's amazing. And apparently, you didn't have a good connection because this video is actually playing. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it devolved from there until we. Uh, it was it, like we realized that a, a a pizza box and a magic marker 
live here in the studio is easier to see than a giant big board on the other side of my crappy Sh- internet connection. Shooting at so five, a good lesson five right there. frames per second. Yeah, yeah. yeah Nothing, was... You can't beat live. <laughs> um, also, um, I, I, I just wanted to mention, honorable mention to um, the time I got to share um, the couch here with Jackson Argos, and I realized I made a Canadian friend for life. So there you go. That was a good dude. There you go. Canada Dry. Canada Dry. Canada Dry, Jackson, Canada Argos, dry Jackson Argos. Who is also in a flag match this weekend. Hey, where'd the yep. poster go? I knocked it over. You knocked it over. Where'd it go? Is it behind the couch? Mm-hmm. All right, we'll plug them since we can't see them. <laughs> Threat level midnight, uh, iwcwrestling.com, uh, Saturday night, July 22nd, I believe that is. Yep. Um, Jackson Argus is in a flag match. Him and R.C. Dupree, who I need to get the sh- on the show, too, mm-hmm. um, against uh, uh, Mega Plowers. So, looking forward to that. That's hard. That, that's going to be some Haas action right there. Yeah, that is. That is definitely. <laughs> uh, Larry, do you have a you have an answer yet? Um. I was going to go with the uh, Mayhem Mania where yeah. we had like 20 people in it. Oh, crowded the into Patreon the in the yeah. bank. Patreon we have so bank. much yeah. more room to do Patreon in the bank now. Yeah, we got so eight more room for actually. We got eight six squares. Actually, I so think we even squares. have an ice cream machine. We're actually going to have a briefcase squares. up there. Soft serve. And a briefcase. Yeah. Yeah. A so briefcase. So we can actually bunk beds. Doing bunk grab, the, grab the contract. So much more room for activities. Nine squares to put people in. Richard the Third flavored ice cream. Oh, man. It's going to be oh, orgy bargies over that. <laughs> oh, that one has nuts, though. So. <laughs> and I have allergies. <laughs> Mad Mike. Mad Mike, let's bring us around. Mad Mike, what's your favorite studio moment? Oh, God. I have a, I have a lot, Sorg. Um, even though I haven't been in studio for, that often. For, for a person who lives uh, a, a state away, <laughs> eight hours away from us, you've been in the studio a good bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, my first time trying on the Stoke Monkey head. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, that. Yeah, it probably smelled. That was an experience. Um, I, I remember trying to, to try, trying to eat pizza while having the Stoke Monkey head on. It did not work out well. Um, Forever staying. Let's see. And and I'm not gonna lie, being there for the only Mayhem show that was not run by Sorg. That's an experience. I, That's an experience. You know what? I'm sorry I forgot to mention that sword. That was because that was so much more than just a moment in this studio. That was like a that was like a life moment for me. That was a bucket list. That was bucket list. You have no idea how bad I wanted to host this show and I got to host the show one got time. Got to sit in the arm again. Like, you're you're yeah. the guy. You run sat on Batista's head. It was great. You run the morning <laughs> news. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I ran the morning news and I ran this show. Okay. And it was more fun running this show that night than it was not running the morning news. That <laughs> one's just not always doesn't always go that way, but on here's that a, night, yeah. Here's here's how that went. I, uh, image. <laughs> I also Good time. look at all that. Look at that happy crew there. Thank goodness. Where was I? You know what the best part about that was? That was the week after um uh Carmella and Ellsworth destroyed women's rights forever. <laughs> and, and we had to try to talk it out with Dutters. That was a rough yeah. episode, man. Uh, yeah, that was yeah, not yeah. easy. Um, I have one more. It wasn't a moment I was in studio for, but it was the week after you guys had Bimelon when I realized it was safe for me to come to Pittsburgh and I wouldn't get murdered. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, now the country. all than anyone's short, really. But, you know, I, it could be. We could be all knees up from here on out. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot to mention the episode that Chad had to sit next to that owl for an entire hour. That fucking owl. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that no, was entertaining. Hey, to be fair, Chad and that owl have had long-standing beef. I choked out this owl, that owl on the floor with extension cords before. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I, hey, I remember hey, that. Hey. Fuck, hey, son of a yeah, bitch. Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. Fuck that owl. Fuck that owl. <laughs> Fuck that owl. Wait, where's the shirt? It's over there. Isn't it? Fuck that owl. Uh, Hold on. Toss him the shirt. Toss, toss Chad the shirt. You know what that owl's name go. is? Richard the <laughs> Third. <laughs> there you go. Fuck that owl. Fuck that owl. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sorg, Sor- we also have one. In the oh, chat like, hold on, hold on. Richard I just, I the Third. I, I just want to. I just want to. <laughs> <laughs> See that? I just want to point out just the weird world I live in that we we possess a Rebby Hardy T-shirt. Yeah. Is that, does that shirt count as a disparaging remark? As far as the shirt, yeah, no, nobody cares about TNA. Okay, all right, 
TNA's yep. dead. Yep. It can't hate us anymore. TNA yeah, anymore. TNA's <laughs> dead. I haven't even watched it since Slammiversary. Honestly, That's right. You're free, Mike. Honestly, Be free. It's still TNA. That's right. If there's a, if there's a jumping off point, we got some stuff in the chat, but first I want to get to Bobby. Uh, what, you, oh, what, yes. what memories do you have? Have you been in the studio? Um, I, I've been in your house. So I haven't been in the studio. You were sleeping. Um, I've been in your house. <laughs> 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 I, 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 sleeping. I, I sit and watch you guys. <laughs> I, I just picture Bobby just rocking oh. back and forth while you guys sleep now. <laughs> I like, like, like a little, I'm like a little, I'm like a little spider Mike. I climb up in the ceiling and just hang there. I'm going to have nightmares he's just, tonight. He's just counting his pops when he does it. Uh, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> well, I didn't explain why I haven't been here for two months. <laughs> okay. My pop collection fell on me, and then they all broke out of their boxes and tied me up like Gulliver's Travels. Oh. <laughs> and, yeah, I haven't been here. So. That only sounds like half true. And then I went to Sorg's <laughs> house and watched him sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it was knees up for Richard III. <laughs> wow. No, I, I think we gotta. I think we need a refresher, Bobby. So <laughs> he, he saw he saw you argy barging in in your sleep. <laughs> Anyways, wow, that's too Bobby. Personal. Right there. Anyways. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your moment in man um, history. My moment it has come up a couple times. Even though I wasn't in the studio for it, it was one of the first shows I've been on. Um, it was the, the night that, that uh, Come On and Wanna Lay Up danced to top the ECW arena. No. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> no, it was it was the night that we sang in the arms of the angels for the TNA knockouts. <laughs> oh God, that was by that far one of my now. favorite moments. Oh. Uh, there was um oh, the one of them. Uh, one of them was on the Hooters. Uh, uh, like pick the Hooters girl it was, calendar uh, or something. Miss Tessmacher, was yeah, Miss Tessmacher. I think it was. So so we talked about. It. I, I think it was probably around the time where the one was at Sunglass Hut, and yeah, uh, oh, when she was God, champion. I was just oh, talking about that? Velvet Sky. No, it's not, no, it wasn't Angelia Love. It was uh, Taylor, Taylor Wild. Taylor Wild. Wild. Oh. Taylor Wild. And and we just like <laughs> we were so heartbroken because they had to go work these day jobs, and they're the champion of a wrestling company <laughs> on television on Spike TV. And gotta, gotta and push they, these sunglasses. It was that. And, gotta push these. Yeah, sunglasses. yeah. And we're just like this poor girl. Has to has to you know help her out, mm. vote for her, get her in the Hooters and calendar, not, you know, and it just led into another Sarah thing McLaughlin. I just thought of was bringing you guys the AON reports and how confused you guys were that there were bombings and kidnappings and in this indie <laughs> like fed murders. in the middle of Pennsylvania, <laughs> in Johnstown. <laughs> yes. You know, it's so weird. That sounds I, amazing. I worked with somebody. Yeah, it was. I, I worked. I actually worked with somebody else's intern, and she knew some people from Phoenix Pro out your way. So yeah, it was a weird connection. Probably like Zach Rain. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there's a couple guys that like do different shows around the area. I'm uh, surprised he hasn't come out this way more. Riz. Yes. What is your? Riz so story? actually, um, my first time in the studio was a. Uh, was a holiday show. Oh no! <laughs> and it was the moment where uh, I, I, I recall fondly that um, DJ Lunchbox started peeling off the wine labels, <laughs> starting to <laughs> stick to me the entire time I'm talking. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I just grab like a handful and just start chomping on it. Yep. Hashtag knees up. Yes, I, I don't know <laughs> those why holiday parties wore knees up. Yes, <laughs> hashtag Bob um, Young. But another one, uh, I, I I always mention here because you know Sorg, I'm I'm very very uh, I like to poke at you a little bit. Uh, your your interviewing skills with the one, the only <laughs> who's in town soon, I believe. Puppet. <laughs> and, and not only that not not no not not because of how like train wrecky and how bad that was for you know for for him um but how you got how like you lunchbox i believe chachi was there too uh and how they all just gathered and and still made an awesome show out of it uh i, I remember Right after that, uh, you guys did like a uh, fake uh, 
a fake puppet outro or a, a fake puppet plugin for the Wrestling Mayhem show as with DJ Lunchbox as puppet. And that was <laughs> just amazing. And uh, they got, that was that was that was one of my favorite moments in Mayhem show. For the that Mayhem really show, happened. Period. What? Which part? <laughs> So, or which part of that didn't happen? Wait, wait. Which part of that didn't? Wait, happen? which part? Because <clears throat> all of it. You looked like you didn't remember all of that. I don't. So I, I, I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember happen. the last part where we made fake puppet things. <laughs> oh. No, sword I remember, black. I sword black. The interview. Once he got called an asshole. I unfortunately remember. <laughs> <laughs> and you can find it. It's on the I, internet. If I remember correctly, uh, Lunchbox uh, started doing like a, a weird voice, and it said it was puppet, and it sounded just like puppet too. Uh, and, and it was one of the things where it just built on from there. I believe you got, you probably used that once during the, I think you used, you used his lead in once. Now now I'm I'm wondering if it's in my latest folder. I I still, I still throw those in every once in a while. Like you forget to, like I should throw Johnny Gargano in and stuff like that. Like I, I, we don't ask people to do him anymore. Who's that? Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano. Some guy named Johnny. That's hey, whatever did, happened did, to him. Did, did, probably, no, yeah, just no, I don't see a puppet one. Off that's, that's RG Borgen or somebody. That's I could I could have sworn that was one of the things I was. Here's one from I Ninja. Mean, wait, here's one from Ninja Turtles creator uh, uh, Kevin Eastman. <coughs> I'll throw it in there later. Uh, but anyway, timey radio. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. I'm recording this on my eight track. I actually probably recorded on an iPhone 3GS. At New York Comic Con, how primitive! How primitive! That's how we rule things. I'm gonna talk back. We got a, we got a Miss Miss one in here too. Yeah, Miss one from San Diego Comic Con. Yeah, some guy named named Sterling James Keenan. Some guy named Shima Zion. Tim Donst. Where the fuck did we get Tim Donst? Oh, was he at the Shikara? Back when back when Tim Donst was a thing. Hmm. He's still kind of a thing. I, I think I think wasn't he at the Shikara show, uh, the King of Trios, when you guys went down? I think he uh, might. Yeah, have been. I think he might have been. Also, uh, from the chat room, Brandon says his memory is uh, he likes is whenever Sorg is away and Mad Mike or whoever pretends to be Sorg. Oh no! <laughs> wait, where, where, where did my mic go? I I don't know where Mag Mike went, but I, guys, this studio, it, it's just. I, I can't tell you how much I'm going to miss this studio. I mean, I'm glad we're moving. Wait. I'm glad we're expanding. But I, I'm going to miss the, the 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 studio feel, knowing that somewhere animals are going nuts above our heads. Like, just all the things that – Doc Remedy broke a baby chair here once. Like, baby. guys, mm-hmm. there, there's so many great things that went on in the studio. He looks just um, like Paul Rosenberg. <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah. Oh. God damn it! Oh. Hey, hey, fake sword. What do you think about uh, Bat- uh, Lego Batman? Well, you see, Riz, uh, Lego <laughs> Batman. It, it's, <laughs> it's really one of the underrated Batman movies. Um, I would put it. No. I would put it above the Dark Knight easily hands oh, down far and away oh, shit. Um, wow. if i had if i had to put yeah, can, into, can we just, can we just if i if i had to give like now? if i had to give like how much of lego batman is watchable i would say a solid two hours and 45 minutes i'm aware the movie's only about an hour 30 and change but that just means you have to watch some some parts twice. Brandon also, has, <laughs> Brandon, <laughs> also has, Brandon, Brandon also has. Brandon also likes whenever the dog tries to interrupt the show by chasing a fly or barking at random stuff he hears. <laughs> Wicked. Hey, There's nothing random about what the Matt, dog is doing. He, he has a purpose yeah, behind every time Matt he barks. Matt Carlin's is not a random fly, sir. <laughs> not a random. I'm not a random event. Wheels, wheels had one. Wheels had, yes, yes. I'm getting into it. Are you remember? Uh, wheels remembers the first few times uh, he was on the show promoting IWC's first. Base brawl. That's 2007, by the way, and the crazy wow. comments that ensued. So signed a lot of autographs. Didn't I come day. down for a base brawl? <laughs> I signed a lot of autographs. Were, I think you were at one of those. Were you at one? I was definitely at. You were. I was you were definitely at, at a base brawl. You were at the one I was at. I think. Is that a euphemism for something else? No, I'd no. Like, that would be knee, that would be knees going up. Going down to a base, base brawl. <laughs> and Brandon wants to see Lego Ninjago. I have no opinion. Oh on yeah. That. He said. Is that big on your household amongst the kids? Oh, of course my kids want to go see Lego Ninjago. La-loid. It actually looks kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, wow, what do we do next? I think, was that everybody? Riz, do you, go did you give one? Choice. We're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah go. happy with that. 
Did you go to Sorg? Did I, I think I did. No, did no, Sorg no. didn't go. Sorg didn't no, because I don't because remember anything that happens in the studio. Uh, right. Whiskey Sorg. 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 What's I, your least favorite mem- whoa, memory in the puppet. studio? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no hesitation. All the sweating um, when things break like they did tonight. Uh, hey. You know, uh, 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 but no. Uh, it's been uh, it's been it's been a fun adventure, and I'm amazed that we've gone these eleven plus years and done so much from my house or my basement, or especially in my basement. You know, uh, from, from the time DJ Z did a, a baby Batista impression over there by the washing machine to to the weird stuff that uh, Ch- Chad and Doc Remedy did down here. Mostly Remedy, you know, splashing a baby chair and damaging that and partially himself. Um, I mean, the STDs were in that studio. Yeah, there's been all kinds of STDs in the studio. <laughs> um, uh, yes, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why did you transition from Doc Remedy to STDs? <laughs> it's relevant <laughs> because <laughs> uh, reasons, Mad Mike, and and it's been uh, a heck of a journey, and uh, and I think it's uh, it's going to be fun to take it from um, hiding in my basement, and I don't think my neighbors still know what I do back here. <laughs> you see random. People I do. Think, think about this. Think, think think about this, guys. I think about it every day. <laughs> Yeah. Every night I yeah, walk honestly, up the street like. Oh, my so. people are here. So, no, so, yeah, yeah. so people showing up here at like ten o'clock at night. Like the neighbors are like definitely a drug house. Definitely oh yeah. Oh yeah. Where are the lists? Oh, yeah. I, I go to the community meetings and I'm waiting for my house to be brought up. Uh, so I, I, I leave there at like one o'clock every yeah. time I'm down there. Yeah. And I'm okay. like. What's up, guys? Look, I mean, look, look, the guys in the studio here, Katie was here, so it was like, I don't know, some blonde just shows up at 7 p.m. every Tuesday night and then leaves like two hours later. I think there's some stuff going on, you know? She's I think she's, up to something she's clearly a prostitute. Like, the, Wait, what, 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 oh, Sorg! Which Sorg. is a thing they say around here. She so. gets there, then dudes Sorg. just keep coming. Yeah, then the dudes just keep coming. It's just one big train. I don't Sorg, know. And they just go really... around back. Nobody knocks on the front door. They go around back and yeah. then go into the basement. Nobody knocks back there. They just walk right in. Oh, and, I hope she's watching I mean, this. <laughs> and, 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 you know, not to mention how many wrestlers have come here over the times. You know, you know. I, how many people have you told come to come to your house and they're not quite sure where they're going? And they're not quite sure they're at the Justin right house. Justin Plummer sat in the backyard at the next door neighbor's down the hill <laughs> on a bench, called me and says, where are you at? Shane in your face was a street over, went around back and knocked on the door. <laughs> Shane is a tattooed MMA guy. Okay. <laughs> You know, we've had Shanta- Shane Taylor show up here on a Sunday morning. We've had... Jeez, who else has been down here? I just here? want to see I your mean, neighbors looking out the window and see these guys like, look around like, Jimmy DeMarco. Think this is the yeah, place. Jimmy DeMarco. Walk around <laughs> back. DJ Z showed up on your porch like McFeely at... Uh, or Mr. McFeely? <laughs> what? Mr. McFeely? Mr. McFeely. Mr. McFeely. Yeah, Mr. McFeely and just ate your chicken wings. And just ate my chicken wings. Exactly. And then, <laughs> all right, we had a little bit of a glitch here. We are back. Everybody's eating pizza on the couch. And, all right, so... so we got... We talked about a little last night on Raw Wrap Up. But Kurt Angle... Kurt Angle discovered his son, Jason Jordan... We talked on the wrap up about how this is the death of tag teams, unfortunately, along with it. But uh, I think somebody had a theory or something that goes about Chad Gable. Was that Riz? Who, who no. was that? Oh, Larry. 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 Yeah. Larry had yeah, had Larry a theory had a theory about theory. Chad Gable. What? And they, they interviewed him tonight on on SmackDown. And I don't know what really mattered <laughs> with that, but anyways. M- Mad Mike was talking about how he was just orphaned. And uh I I was thinking about it because we were all everybody was thinking about uh which wrestlers were which wrestlers' parents and all that stuff? Yeah, with, yeah. Uh, um, who'd you have? You Scott had, uh, Dawson put that picture of him and Arn Anderson. Him and Arn Anderson. <laughs> he said, "I need to talk to my mom." And I think AJ Styles said that he's the Young Bucks' dad now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said that too. One of the Young Bucks was awesome. like, "Well, that explains my gray hair." <laughs> <laughs> So I, I was thinking Chad Gable might be the illegitimate <laughs> child of Mark Henry and uh, Mae Young. <laughs> um, they see, grew in, the, the hand grew up. The hand grew up. We've already the met the hand grew it's up. Already been determined, right? It's just a giant hand. <clears throat> His name is Thing Two. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. <laughs> By the way, just to be clear, we must now 
therefore continue to um, refer to Jason Jordan as Kurt Angle's Clarion University love child. <laughs> Must always never forget. Never forget. Clarion University. <laughs> <laughs> Point of conception. Is it going to be Jason Angle now? Is that their tag Jason him? Angle. Oh, man. Jason also, Angle. Also, who gets custody of the American Alpha team? Does like, oh. Chad get it on the weekends at the house shows? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, you need to rejoin. We're, we're losing yeah, your, your roboting pretty good yeah. here. So, um, Thank you, Bobby. Yeah. Uh, so, so that's the thing, um, like, which, which, but we did determine we were talking earlier and they, they determined that Jason Jordan was adopted and we didn't say who the mother was. It's Thea Vidal. That's really bad. They already <laughs> showed his parents on TV before. Did they? Yeah. But, yeah, but he no, said I mean... he was put into a closed adoption. So yeah. those are yeah. just his adoptive parents. So oh, it's okay. And obviously Kurt knows, right? Everybody's so... cool with it. There's an investigative reporter. It could come out. The Charmel theory could still happen. Yeah, if Charmel was, you didn't just Char- say that. Charmel was visiting a friend she had at Clarion University. It was before she met Booker T. Did but Jacqueline I, I, go to Clarion? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Kurt said, oh my God. Kurt said they dated the for case. nine months, didn't they? Or if that's the case, Chad Jordan, is dying. Jason Jordan will be the first cousin of two Hall of Famers. <laughs> Chad, are you okay? Oh, Jacqueline. <laughs> oh, we I got Chad. a new favorite moment in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that would be that would match my left field prediction from last week. <laughs> And his mother, Jacqueline. Oh, you get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's the best thing in the world. Well, you never know what gravy's going to uncover next sword. <laughs> it's gravy. <laughs> have, have you guys seen the uh, the meme that's been circulating oh, around where it's Kurt Angle at the Hall of Fame with the two glasses of milk? And it just says Kurt Angle now. And then right below it says Kurt Angle in college. It's the same picture, but it's chocolate milk. <laughs> oh. Oh. That gets weird. That gets weird. Um, no, it's not. Hey, Kurt makes it weird. I'm kind of curious to see where this goes, but uh, yeah, it's it's not the highest of expectations. At least it wasn't Hornswoggle this time. But kudos again. Like, to, yeah. I would have preferred. If he was Hornswoggle. under contract. You know it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I would have bring like, him back just for thing, that. When, when my favorite. Were, oh, good, Riz. When they were hinting of uh, of of the. Uh, Mr. McMahon and Mr. Kennedy thing, that wouldn't have worked because they didn't look exactly alike. They didn't look alike at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At least with Jason Jordan and Kurt Angle, they have the same build. They have the same facial structure. He kind of looks like a Kurt Angle. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, it's probably not going to go anywhere. Can I just say... No, oh, my my favorite part, my favorite part of the reveal, was Booker T saying, "This is a conflict of interest." <laughs> well, it is. It, it really was, is. But it just was like so weirdly timed. But I'm like, thanks, Booker. Here's my question, though: Why did why just because Kurt found out that Jason Jordan is his son, why does that mean he gets to come to Raw? Yeah, yeah, why would Daniel Bryan agree to that? Nepoti- nepotism. <laughs> they'd have to. They'd have he's, to like make some agreement. He's actually going right? to face Brock someone Lesnar has to have been summer. traded back. Who did? Who did Raw trade for Jason Jordan? Or oh. did they trade him for future considerations? Oh, no. That's always a good one. All right, <laughs> player Chad. to be named. Mm-hmm. That's, big, that's big during those expansion drafts. It is. Future considered Rock Lesnar. Well, you know, you know what it is, and a player no, Matt, to be named Matt, later. I figured it out. Yep. Yeah. I figured Money it out. And a player um, to be named later. Cash. No, Jason Jordan got sent to Raw so that um, SmackDown gets the next NXT call up. There you there go. You go. Which Future is NXT Bobby call up considerations. Which is Oscar. Oscar. Oh, Oscar. I hope so. Mm. Or or the iconic duo. Oh, they're never getting called up. Oh yeah, they are. Oh. You shut your mouth, Matt. They're never getting called up. Oh man, that's our, wow. team. That's our team. It's over, Bobby. Let it go. No what's going on. Right. No. on that note, guys, repackage. what did you learn in um, wrestling or... I, no, that's all I got. What did you learn in wrestling this week? <laughs> uh, 
I learned that on uh, Fire Pro Wrestling now you can download uh, Bearstein Bear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's uh, who's the nemesis of Bearstein Bear? <laughs> All right. He's up. And it is just literally a bear with Kevin Owen, uh, Killstein Kill on it. <laughs> no, that, that just that just tickled game. me the entire week. I I, I couldn't stop thinking about that. that Wait, why, is, why doesn't the shirt say Bear Steen Bear instead of Kill Steen? Oh, Kill. No, it does. It does say Bear. <laughs> okay, it does bear say Bear Steen bear. bear. That's even better. That's good. B a r e s t e b a r. Do you have a picture of that? I do somewhere. Please put put that in the group when you can. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, All right. God. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about you, Matt Carlin's? I, I learned Cockney. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, Sorg. I learned so much. Uh, I learned that um, uh, Chad's seen a lot of things in this studio. A lot of things I was not even aware of. He's seen some things. A lot it's of things. American yeah. things. Yeah. He's gonna need to talk in to like somebody. almost every room of this house. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> There was a studio upstairs, and we did interviews in the living room. <laughs> we watched WrestleManias yeah, in the other room. We did green screens in the living in the, the, the closet room that uh, we did green screens with Will before WrestleMania, and they were amazing. And they were just sheets hung, taped to the wall. Like, okay, guys, we're gonna do the Mac PC thing. That's the same green sheet that's up over there too. There you, see. <laughs> Like we're gonna do a Mac versus PC thing, just like those trendy commercials right now. Only you're gonna be WWE, and Lunchbox is gonna be TNA. And we made a lot of them. <laughs> and thank God nobody trolls like they do today back then, because we were been torn to shreds. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> we did oh, yeah. get some. There was some. Yeah. Basically, I got I got a lot of uh, of uh, Edge and Hardy Boy ripoff references. Because you were wearing the Hardy Boys necklace, too, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> But uh, they're fun. They're fun. That's awesome. What about you, Larry? Um, I learned that uh, tag teams are going extinct. I don't know. <laughs> and also, uh, paternity tests are a new thing with WWE's uh, wellness policy. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Apparently, right? They uh, do have a background with Jerry Springer. I mean, they do. The they before. do. He can definitely come back. He could. Uh, Dr. Phil, I, too. Oh, yeah, they do. They do. True. Mad Mike, what'd you learn this week? Oh, God. I I, I don't even know. I, I learned that you, you love I've Paul never been me. someone excited <laughs> <laughs> since I, Low and stain. <laughs> Low and um, I, I I learned that I've never seen someone so excited to hear that you are the father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm well, he's got already got like four or five kids, so you know. Well, yeah, and now I want to see. Here's what I want. I want a new WWE show where Jason Jordan plays with Karen Angle's kids. <laughs> Jeez. I do want this reality show now where they follow yeah, Jason like, Jordan home like, and he, they hang out for Christmas and the Oh, the yeah. Christmas photos. Oh, yeah, the Christmas Meet photos. Because, <laughs> I mean, you know, like, Kurt's very, very accepting of this whole thing. So he'll probably have, you know, Jason's adoptive uh, parents come over too. This could be the just best like Christmas this big, picture ever. This, this big Christmas dinner with, with, uh, Jason Jason Jordan's parent uh, adoptive parents mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Jarretts uh, the Jarretts oh my god <laughs> <laughs> like Angle's no, and, real and kids Jeff calling Jarrett's, him like brother Jeff Jarrett <laughs> is they, brother? secretly trying to slip him a Global Force Wrestling contract the yeah, entire night. yeah yeah <laughs> Got that Angle yeah. blood in your boy it's gonna be like Last Supper <laughs> Jason Jordan, Jason Jordan once tweeted back at me once I asked him if he still had the catapult shoes from the breaking ground. Oh, yeah. He said, "Yeah, I still have them. Of course, I do." Awesome. Oh, Bobby, what'd you learn, or is that what you learned? No, no, I I actually learned um, that thanks to Donald McWilliams too. Um, he helped me with this one, but uh, th that Dean Ambrose and the Miz are locked in the feud that doesn't end. Mm -hmm. And I, for one, have, have decided to call that lamb chop booking. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm because you. you know. I know. It's, just, it's the feud that doesn't end. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's good. It's kind of like um, Noam Dar and uh, Cedric Alexander. Oh, oh my yep, God. exactly. That's another Lamb Chop book. And, 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 uh, it goes on tonight also. <laughs> Kofi Kingston, Dolph Ziggler, uh, Bobby Roode, and Eric Young. Mm-hmm. There's, there's a lot of Lamb Chop bo- uh, Bobby, I really like that term. That's lamb, lamb Chop booking. booking. Yeah. Lamb Chop booking. Let's see if we can get it going. Uh, what about you, Riz? Birthday right. boy, Riz. Did, didn't Nine I already more. do that? Not anymore. Did you? Now I you're old man, oh, Richard old the man. Third. Old man Riz. 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 You get to learn two things. <laughs> Just uh, then, I, then, I, then I also learned that there's also a Bam, a Bam Bam Bigelow bear that you can download now. <laughs> bear Bear Bigelow. Bam Bear Bigelow. Bear Bear Bigelow. Bear Bear Bigelow. There you go. I, uh, I retweeted. I, re- I, qu- I quoted the uh, original uh, person who who sent in that. Uh, the entire list of bears that you can have. Uh, there's a a bear, two a bears, yeah bear, uh, fire bear, mm-hmm. bear Ferguson, green bear, big bear, lucha bear, bearstein bear, like I told you before. Uh, let's see who else was in here. Uh, bear Meltzer, <laughs> bear Strowman, <laughs> that one's CM bear, bear Wyatt, bear Wyatt. Bear Wyatt. Uh, bear witness, who's just a referee, and a, <laughs> is a, bear, a, a bear in a referee oh, costume. Who is that, Matt? Uh, Bubba Ray Bear, Devon Bear, and uh, Sign Guy H- Bear, H Bear K, Big Dick Bear, H Bear K, Dick Bear, Dances with Bear, <laughs> Spike, Spike oh, Bear, guys, Paul it's been a blast. Paul Bear, <laughs> Paul Bear, Paul Bear, Paul Bear. There's also a Care Bear. Mm-hmm. Oh jeez! I, w- I wonder if his finish is the stare. Gu- Bear stare. Guys, guys, no stare. it has Bear been a Lesnar. wonderful eleven years in the basements and and bedrooms and back rooms of all my 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 <laughs> my places I've lived. Perversions doing podcasts. <laughs> the Bear Circus. But and now next week we're gonna be right on Broadway. The T going by. They're gonna see the mayhem. Hollywood Squares, baby. We're Hollywood we're Squares, baby. Tony He's up. <laughs> We're gonna win Tony. It's exciting. I, I I've often said um, I can't imagine us going a year at this place doing what we're gonna do in front of a window <clears throat> and not have the cops called at least once. So we'll find that out and we'll put that to the test the first week. Hell, maybe they'll they'll come by when we uh, march that couch up the side <laughs> up the side road to the studio. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, thank you everybody that's been supporting the show for so so long that joins us here on these Tuesday nights. I'm very excited to be in air conditioning and not be sweating over here. I was t- I, could, I I forgot how hot all these computers get over here in the corner. So uh, uh, we're looking forward to that. And please, especially you guys on the Patreons, uh, please come down. We open invites for you guys to come down and enjoy as well. Uh, thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.